It was a clear afternoon in Ahmedabad, the kind of day when air travel seems almost effortless. No storms, no turbulence, no reason to expect anything but a routine climb into the sky. But just moments after takeoff, Air India Flight AI-171, one of the airline's flagship Boeing 787 Dreamliners, vanished from radar. In under a minute, 241 lives in the air and dozens more on the ground were gone. What happened in that small window of time has haunted investigators, pilots, and engineers ever since. This was not an inexperienced crew. It was not a poorly maintained aircraft. And yet, something happened so suddenly, so violently, that it left even veteran crash investigators struggling for answers. Now, after months of sifting through wreckage, decoding black box data, and running flight simulations, scientists are finally revealing what they believe took place in those final desperate seconds. The findings are shocking, so much so that they could change how we think about the safety of one of the most advanced passenger aircraft ever built. June 12, 2025, 1338 local time, the Dreamliner begins its takeoff from runway 23 of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel International Airport. Everything on the surface seems normal, weather clear, visibility excellent, engines running at optimal thrust. The crew, led by Captain Ravi Singh, a veteran with over 12,000 flight hours, and First Officer Emily Zhao, a rising star in the airline's ranks, had both flown this exact aircraft many times before. The jet lifted off smoothly, climbing past 600 feet. But then, something invisible began to unfold. Air traffic control radar recorded a steady climb, until it didn't. At just over 625 feet, the transponder stopped transmitting normally. The aircraft began to lose speed and lift almost simultaneously. To the untrained eye, it might have looked like a routine bank or climb adjustment. But seasoned controllers saw the signs instantly. The Boeing 787 was stalling. Seconds later, the nose dropped, and the aircraft began an unrecoverable descent. It clipped the rooftop of the BJ Medical College hostel before disintegrating in a fireball that sent smoke and debris billowing into the sky. Inside the tower, controllers froze. On the ground, walls shook, glass shattered, and chaos erupted. Amid the devastation, one man emerged alive. British national Vishwash Kumar Romesh, seated in 11A, just steps from an emergency exit. His testimony became one of the most crucial pieces of evidence in understanding the crash. Romesh recalled that seconds after takeoff, the cabin shuddered violently, lights flickered green and white, and then there was a strange, weightless sensation. Through his window, he saw the left wing dip and the ground rushing toward him far too quickly. When the fuselage tore open after the initial impact, Romesh acted without hesitation. He unlatched the emergency exit and leapt into the chaos below, sustaining burns and fractures but escaping the inferno that engulfed the cabin moments later. His account confirmed two chilling details investigators had suspected. The aircraft stalled in mid-air, and structural failure occurred before the main body of the jet hit the ground, likely due to the sheer forces at play in that uncontrolled descent. Within 28 hours, recovery teams located both the flight data recorder, FDR, and the cockpit voice recorder, CVR. Inside those devices lay the story of AI-171's final seconds. The CVR revealed a calm takeoff sequence until 15 seconds before the Mayday call. The captain's voice is heard questioning power readings, followed by fragmented chatter about no thrust and airspeed. The next sound is the stall warning, blaring for nearly 12 seconds before the impact cuts everything to silence. The FDR painted an even more unsettling picture. Both engines, GEGENX models, showed an abrupt loss of thrust that could not be explained by bird strike, weather, or fuel starvation alone. The readings pointed to a possible simultaneous failure in the electronic engine control EEC systems, a scenario so rare that no comparable case exists in the Dreamliner's operational history. This was no gradual flameout, it was as if the engines had simply stopped responding. The severity of the data forced the investigation into an international collaboration. India's Directorate General of Civil Aviation, DGCA, worked alongside the US NTSB, the UK's Air Accidents Investigation Branch, Boeing engineers, and GE aerospace specialists. Parallel teams examined hydraulic systems, fuel pump circuitry, and composite wing joint integrity. 
Simulations conducted in full motion flight trainers confirmed a grim truth. If a dual thrust loss occurs below 1,000 feet on takeoff, recovery is virtually impossible. Investigators also began probing the possibility of a software anomaly, an undetected bug in the EEC firmware that could cause both engines to misinterpret sensor data and reduce thrust automatically. This raised a disturbing question. Could the same flaw be present in other Dreamliners currently flying around the world? As the investigation delved deeper into the engine control systems, a disturbing pattern emerged. Engineers discovered that during the final seconds before the loss of thrust, both electronic engine control EEC units received identical erroneous data from their pressure and temperature sensors. The readings suggested the engines were exceeding safe operational thresholds, values that in reality were impossible under the conditions recorded. Following their programming, the EECs responded as if protecting the engines, automatically reducing thrust to idle. This automated fail-safe became the opposite. It was the trigger that sealed the aircraft's fate. For investigators, this was a nightmare scenario. If a corrupted data stream could fool the EECs into cutting power, then the same vulnerability might exist in hundreds of Boeing 787s worldwide. GE Aerospace launched its own parallel review, combing through historical maintenance data and real-time telemetry from other Dreamliners. So far, no similar incidents had been reported, but the sheer possibility was enough to trigger heightened scrutiny and emergency advisories to operators globally. When preliminary findings hinted at a potential systemic flaw, the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, quietly issued a confidential safety bulletin to aviation regulators around the world. Airlines operating the Boeing 787 were instructed to run immediate diagnostic checks on their EEC systems and verify the integrity of associated sensors. Though the bulletin stopped short of grounding the fleet, several carriers, particularly in Europe and Asia, temporarily withdrew aircraft from service for inspections. Behind closed doors, there was tension between transparency and containment. Publicly, Officials emphasized that the Dreamliner remained one of the safest long-haul aircraft in operation. Privately, engineers admitted that until they could replicate the sensor anomaly under controlled conditions, the risk could not be fully quantified. For passengers, the reassurances rang hollow. For regulators, the AY-171 crash became a case study in how a single line of code, or a single faulty reading, could bring down an advanced jet in seconds. As fragments of the investigation began leaking to the press, political pressure mounted in India and abroad. Families of the victims demanded full disclosure, accusing both Air India and Boeing of withholding critical safety information. Opposition lawmakers in India's parliament called for public hearings, while aviation watchdog groups in the U.S. urged the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, to release any past incident reports involving Dreamliner engine control anomalies. For Boeing, the timing could not have been worse. Still recovering from the reputational damage of the 737 MAX crisis, the company now faced renewed scrutiny over its software development and certification processes. GE Aerospace, meanwhile, was forced to defend the reliability of its Gen X engines, even as its engineers worked around the clock to identify whether the EEC glitch was a hardware defect, a software fault, or the result of rare environmental interference. Perhaps the most unsettling revelation came when investigators dug into Air India's maintenance records. In the months before the crash, AI-171's left engine had logged two unexplained engine surge events. Brief, self-correcting drops in thrust during climbouts from Mumbai and Delhi. Both incidents had been noted, inspected, and cleared without further action, as no fault codes remained in the system. But in light of the crash, those anomalies took on a new and ominous significance. Some experts now believe these were early warnings, brief glimpses of the very sensor EEC miscommunication that would later occur on both engines simultaneously. If true, it meant the seeds of the disaster had been present for months, hiding in plain sight within routine maintenance logs. This finding underscored a painful truth for the aviation industry. Sometimes the clues are there, but without the right context, they blend into the background noise of daily operations until a catastrophe forces them into focus.
The investigation into Air India Flight 171 has revealed more than the cause of a single crash. It has exposed the fragility of even the most advanced aircraft when human trust and machine logic collide in the wrong moment. In those final seconds above Ahmedabad, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner wasn't brought down by weather, sabotage, or mechanical destruction. It was brought down by a chain of events so rare and so specific that it had never been recorded before. A stream of corrupted sensor data, processed by two separate systems, triggering a perfectly synchronized but utterly disastrous response. The EECs were doing exactly what they were programmed to do, protect the engines. But in protecting them from a threat that didn't exist, they created the one threat from which there was no recovery. The crew, highly trained and experienced, was left with less than 15 seconds to diagnose the impossible, why a healthy aircraft in perfect weather was suddenly losing power. They didn't stand a chance. The discovery of previous unexplained engine surges in the months leading up to the crash has forced the industry to confront an uncomfortable truth. Warning signs can hide in plain sight, dismissed as harmless glitches until they reappear in deadly form. And if this could happen to a state-of-the-art Dreamliner, it could happen to any fly-by-wire aircraft in service today. The legacy of AI-171 will not be measured only in the reforms it inspires, the software it forces to be rewritten, or the checklists it adds to pilots' training. Its legacy will also be the reminder that safety in aviation is not a static achievement. It is a living, breathing pursuit, where complacency can be fatal, and every anomaly, no matter how small, deserves scrutiny. For the families of the victims, answers may bring clarity but never closure. For the aviation community, this tragedy stands as a warning from the sky itself. Technology can elevate us, but it can also fail us in ways we never imagined. And in the high-stakes world of flight, where the margin for error is measured in seconds, we cannot afford to learn the same lesson twice.